the throne room of God. I mean, no disrespect, no ill will at all, but I really don't need to hear something from Washington, D.C. tonight. I really don't need to hear something. God knows I don't need to, hear, need to hear anything out of Hollywood, California tonight or really anything in between. I need to hear something that originates out of the heavenlies. My God, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm feeling. It was a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. Dear Lord, if you ever go back and research the original language of that, it, it has the implication of a downward thrust, almost in the, in the sense of hurricane force winds. Can I tell you, that's what we need in the church of God. We need something to blow away jealousy. And we need something to blow away politics. And, and we need something to blow away personal agendas. And we need something to blow away pride. And we need something to blow away cynicism. And we need something to blow away skepticism. And we need something to blow away criticism. We need a sign. As of a rushing mighty wind, I want to tell you, it's time right now, dear God, we can't wait another day, we can't wait another week, we can't wait another 30 days, we need a sound from heaven tonight. Oh, come on, somebody clap your hands on you people. Shout out to God with the voice of triumph. Yeah. Somebody make a sound in this place. Hallelujah. And shout out there. There came a sound from heaven as a rushing wind and it filled the whole house. Somebody say it filled the whole house. Throughout the Bible there have been many encounters with the heavenlies. Rain came from heaven. Bread came from heaven. Hail came from heaven. And fire came from heaven. And that's what we need today in our churches. We need the fire of God. There is a sound that only heaven can produce. There's a sound that sets the captives free. There's a sound that delivers the sick. Oh, come on, somebody. There's a sound that captures the hearts and the minds of God's people. There is a sound that only comes from heaven. And we can no longer settle for the sound of the world. But we have to believe God for a new sound. Somebody say a new sound. The sound, it came from heaven. There are many sounds coming from all over our culture, our society. In the times we live in, we need a sound that only heaven can produce. We got to evaluate the sources of our sound. We got to evaluate where the sound is coming from. We've now started to mix the sound of the world with the sound of the church and expect the Holy Ghost to co-sign that what we're doing. But we need a sound that does not come from man. We need the sound of the Holy Ghost. I know we have our programs. I know we have our agendas. I know we have the order of service and everything we want to do. But we need to make sure the sound that we're hearing comes from heaven. You want to know how to reach this generation? You want to know how to reach young adults? You want to know how to reach young people? Show them the sound from heaven. Allow the Holy Spirit to give us that sound for our generation. Don't settle for giving us, my God, mediocrity. But give us the word. Give us substance. When I was growing up, they, they used to give us something called a program. Lift your hands if you remember a program. And in the program, they have the devotions and the inspiration and, and the introduction of speaker and, and the preacher. All of that is listed on the program. But on our programs, at the very bottom, in the fine print, it used to say that this service is subject to the leading of the Holy Ghost. Have you left room for the Holy Ghost? Have you left space for the Holy Spirit in your agenda? Somebody say there's a sound. There's a sound. There's a sound. There's a sound. It cannot be manipulated. It can't be created by man. But it only comes when we seek the face of God. When we seek the face of a Savior who can deliver and set us free. Somebody
one said of the sound. This sound was from heaven. This sound came as a mighty rushing wind. It had force to it. My God, we need a sound that not only ministers to the parishioner, but it ministers to the preacher. We need a sound that's authentic. We don't need a sound that is fake. We need a sound that comes from praying and seeking the face of God. A lot of folks in my generation, we crave attention, we crave fame, we crave money, we crave the things we see on social media, Instagram, but my God, if you would get off Facebook and put your face into the book, you can experience the power of the Holy Ghost. What are the sounds of Pentecost? It's the sound of a power that cannot be denied. It's the sound of unity that cannot be stopped. Yeah. It's the sound of intercession that cannot be ignored. It's the sound of revival that cannot be quenched. It's the sound of a praise that cannot be quelled. It's a sound that comes from heaven. Lift up your hands and say, we need a sound from heaven. And lastly, I'll tell you this this sound that comes from heaven, we need to make sure that we are in a position as the body of Christ, as the church of God, to do it together. They were all in one room. Oh, come on, somebody. You see, they were all in one place. And if I can borrow this little area right here, right here, Bishop, we got to link arms shoulder to shoulder, generation to generation, male to female, black to white, multicultural generation. We need, we need, we need the sound of heaven. High five your neighbor, say we gotta do a shoulder to shoulder. The word says, in the last days, I will pour out my spirit upon, upon, upon. That means white flesh. That means black flesh. That means Hispanic flesh. That means young flesh. That means all flesh. All flesh. This was what the sound of Pentecost sounds like. Somebody raise your voice with the voice of triumph. We got to come together as the body of Christ for a real move of the Spirit. And we can't be afraid of each other. My time is up, but we got to join together, shoulder to shoulder, in a spirit of unity. Because that's why the Spirit of God was able to come into that place. It was because they were in one accord. Turn to them and say, we got to come together. And there will be a sound from heaven. Oh, let's lift up that sound. Lift up that sound.